something bad happened though. I uh, after my stream was over, I was grinding in the lab in Street Fighter for another six hours, and it happened. When I do anything with my index finger, I get a sharp pain in my my forearm. Just the act of like pressing a button hurts now. It's kind of scared. It's because um, when you're playing, you press on this, you press on this a lot, and when you're in a, when you're like focusing. You press it like a lot harder than you intend to. And then doing that repeatedly for like many hours plays a large strain on your forearm or your wrist. I find it weird that's like a wrist pain, but it's located right here. Who is Vite PT? Is that a Vitality player? What's your current opinion on the patch? Oh, I, I, I've been very, very strong feeling about my thoughts on this patch. I don't like it. I think it's like playable, but below average. I hope that next patch will fix things. Oh, it's Toronto, Tokyo. I see. Uh, early Vex. I could really use a Mordekaiser. In terms of what we'll carry early game, I think it's a good Seuss here. Okay, this is kind of an unfamiliar line to me, but we'll, we'll try to figure it out. How's the new patch feel? Oh, is there a patch out right now? Wait, I didn't realize the patch was out. Oh, tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure that I'm still playing on the old patch, or the, the same patch. Hmm. Hello, Froden. Thank you for that raid. I hope you had a good stream. What do you think? Don't want to level here? I... Okay. This is a bit of a gamble, but I think that if I level, I, I'll win here. Thanks, Rodan. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Nice to see you again. I just got on. Today we're doing TFT and then Street Fighter. I'm not very familiar with this line. Also, I don't feel like my augment fits my build. I've got like a Edge of Night, Gwynsu's Nyla. And I'm gonna tempo to a Callista. I'm gonna do like that standard flex Callista play. It's where you, uh... You grab Callista, and then like any combination of like Warriors, Shapeshifters, uh, Preservers, Arcana. There's, there's a lot of a lot of ways you can play it. It's honestly my favorite way to play TFT. I think the build is like kind of weak right now, but it's okay. It's a fun time. Gordon was playing on Oceana. Oh, wow. He, he went to a new region just to like experience it early. That's, that's brave. Haha, I, I actually wanted this bow. Nyla 2, baby. Okay, that's actually huge. Would I ever YOLO or forge? Would I ever YOLO or forge to get an item? If I had to, I'd probably reforge a tier. I guess I'll do it if the fight looks close. Yeah, okay. Uh, there was a guy with Annihilate too that was really scary. Oh, wait. Double Gwinsus! Hey, if it makes the diff, I'm down. Wait, am I trolling? What am I going to do with two Gwinsus later? My joy in 
Wait. Wow. <laughs> what? Okay, if you're wondering what the answer was, the answer was simply just get a Callista. Although, hang on. Okay, don't be fooled. My best build right now is actually still... My best build right now is actually still uh, keep the items on Nyla. It's stronger than Callista. Nice. Okay, I'm definitely gonna sell this Ash. I want to keep the. Uh, I want to keep the two-star Blitz. I think it's good frontline. Callista for Cassidy. No, uh, that's like a trap. Callista is a great unit when itemized, but without items, she's useless. And since we all agree that double Rage Blade right now on Nyla is stronger. Since we all agree that it's stronger right now, uh, this board is actually weaker. Callista with no items doesn't contribute anything to the board. So what you need to do here is you have to like, you have to recognize that Nyla 2 is stronger for now until people get a certain amount of melee damage. Uh, once Nyla becomes like unsafe, then Callista becomes better. The, the nice thing about Callista is that she's long range and can infinitely scale up safely. But right now, like, so can Nyla. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to this Olaf in case I get offered that thing. Box box, we're talking about for Cassin. Who the fuck said anything about Nyla? Okay. I'm pretty sure you're stupid. The reason why I'm, what I'm saying is this is weaker because you're not gonna itemize it because Nyla is better. That's why you play Cassid and just have a tank on the board. You, you understand? That's why you can't play the Callista yet. The keyword is yet. Once we reach the spot where uh, Nyla is no longer safe, then that's when you move. Like, yes, Callista is on average stronger than Cassid, but right now every unit is just functioning as a tank for Nyla to, to scale up. Adding a one-star Callista doesn't do anything. Oh, I might lose. I don't think I can beat a real Nyla. Oh wait, hang on. Oh my god, that's so funny. Warrior Crest? Uh, I don't actually think it's Warrior Crest. Since we know we're gonna pivot to Callista soon, it's probably more likely Blossom Lotus. Oh, Crash Test Dummies I kinda like. Um, I have to decide. Do I want Crash Test Dummies to build up more time for Gwinsu's, or do I want Blossom Lotus? Uh, alright, I'm gonna go with Crash Test. Okay, this is where I think I can sell Nyla. Why sell two-star instead of remover? Uh, removers are valuable. Once you strip Nyla of the Gwinsus, uh, she's no longer a unit. The idea is now I'm just playing Callista with a bunch of bricks. Like, three shapeshifters sounds weird, but it makes sense in the context of like, I'm just trying to play random tanks. Here's a Varus, we can't play him though. So, units that are good in this spot now, let's see. Yeah, any tank. Uh, looking at, looking for Shen Hecarim, looking for four, uh, four shapeshifter. Like, trust me, I, I know it looks weird, but this is the correct play. Now that uh, Kalista has double Gwyn Seas, like, all, all we need is a front line. You sit back and let Kalista 1v9. I know it feels wrong to play like a Vanguard or a two star Blitzcrank with Edge of Night and even Shroud, but he is in the end like a good brick. So who's your fairy champ gonna be? Uh, the one that fits the best is Katarina, but you could do a world where you get like Zillion, Bard, Rakan. Um, since my Calista has double Gwinsus, I can't give her a Last Whisper. It's probably fine because I've even Shroud. We'll focus on the unit that's gonna hold Edge of Night. So I want a sword, glove, or belt. You could have had Frost in with Varus and Huey. You are chasing the synergy too hard and not just like playing the game, if that makes sense. 
what will Avaris actually do, right? What would what would Avaris actually do for the board? Virtually nothing. Uh, I think it's a roll here. I mean, do you like a piece of front line? Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I have to sell these Olafs. Like, Olaf can use Edge of Knight, but I'm having trouble imagining a world where I can play him. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be playing Hunters. So I think I have to sadly let him go. Box box, wasn't that just self justification? As probability game, can we really talk good play or baby play? What the hell are you going on about? All I'm saying is, it feels weird, but like, there's no reason to uh, play anything here other than like a, a really strong Gwinsu's holder and then tanks that support your Gwinsu's holder in some way. My best holder was Nyla for a little bit, and then it swapped back to Callisto once I uh, once people started reaching a certain level of board strength. People are saying like, oh, well, you could have had Frost if you uh, played the Varus and the Hui. But like, yeah, you would have had Frost. It wouldn't have done anything. There'd be no items on your Frost units. You can't play Varus if you don't have like five swords. Box Box, there is no correct play in TFT. Is, is, there, is, is everybody in my chat like on something right now? What do you mean there is no correct play in TFT? They, there absolutely is a correct play in TFT, and players, like, the skill of the game is trying to get as close to that as possible. That's like saying there is no correct play in chess. There, there absolutely is a correct play. We're not always going to find it out, and, like, there, in every given round, there's, like, a hundred things you can do. You try your best to make the best decision. I have a very unusual chat today. Alright, I need to get on a ferry. A little dizzy, but I think we mostly handled that well. I need to hit off of shapeshifters or or hit on Nasus uh, for itemization. Just a TG on somebody. Uh, I need to keep rolling. I have a lot of things I could hit. Yeah, I keep looking for uh, Callista or Nasus. Item collector is great here. Press the attack. Nah. Fucked up. I don't think this TG should have gone on um, Gwen. I can item move it next round. Uh, it sucks to use my item mover like that. But like, I, I slammed the TG on here without thinking. But I was like, wait. Rakan should hold the even shroud. Gwen should hold the edge of night. But then it's like, who holds the uh, TG then? Gwen is a high value TG holder. Rakan is a high value TG holder. But both of them have an item they need to hold. Oh my god. Um. Okay. I think it was supposed to be like Edge of Night Shen. Or no, no. I think it was supposed to be Even Shroud. Yeah, okay. It was definitely supposed to be Even Shroud on Shen, TG on Rakan, and then Edge of Night on Gwen. Uh. No, now that I'm stuck in this situation, how can I solve it? I can just slap the Edge of Night on someone else temporarily. Yeah, I'll just build like a set of three items on Hecarim, and it feels a little bad, but whatever. 
Yeah, it's not pretty. Oh yeah, or I could have made Edge of Night Gwen. Uh, Edge of Night Nash's Gwen, that's also legit. Oh, the walk diff! The walk diff! Okay, no, I, I think I know what to do. Uh, when I get when I get a two-star Gwen, I can do a pop-off trick. Uh, what am I needing now? How many Gwens out of the pool? One. Oh, wait. I think I'm actually just not going to play Gwen at all. The answer lies within. Yeah. I think the correct play is actually do this. And then um, this Karma would be a zero -th later. I I think I fucked up the carousel. I think I'm supposed to go for chain and then just uh, settle for uh, Sun Park Cape here. But since I took the red buff, I think this Karma is the right play now. Nora is nice with Callista. Yeah, but Karma gives a, a full synergy to my team. Right, like, in the end, this entire comp is just, can you keep Callista alive for the 20 seconds she needs to kill everybody? Right, look at the damage chart. So, you just want to make units who can contribute to Callista being alive. If you had a 2-star Fiora and 2-star Gwen, you could go for, like, the other version where you actually kill them. But, since I don't have that, I'm down to just do this, where I go for, um, I go for, like, a tanky stall build. Kind of a crazy game though. I took this augment thinking I was gonna lose streak. And then we're 100 HP. Wasn't it Tom Kench then? Uh, it would have been Tom Kench if I had a thing, uh, if I had a Sunfire. But since I have a red buff, I need to make use of the red buff. That It was my bad, I I took the wrong item on Carousel. I was like, I need anti-heal. And then I took a red buff instead of get, taking a Sunfire. Oh, this guy just owned me up my ass. Actually, it was kind of close. Oh, it was actually very close. Dang. I mean, like, it's not the end of the world to lose there. Just sucks that I didn't keep my streak. But I don't, I don't think there's much I could have done. I guess I could have rolled for charm. Yeah, I could have rolled for charm. Yumi and Kalista interaction might be too strong. Wait, what, what's the Yumi and Kalista interaction? As far as I know, she doesn't scale very hard off of AP. Yeah, I could have rolled for charm. That's not bad. I should have scouted and, like, thought about if I was going to win or lose that fight. I just kind of, like, thought I was going to win all my matchups. Oh, it's adaptive power. Oh, right. So it would give AD. Gain a spatula. Um. Okay, I, I can do fairy spat and then look for Emilio. Fairy, honey, portal, frost. Yeah, we can do a. Uh... I think it's actually worth it. Um, it, it it allows me to play Melio at level 9, which fits quite well. Uh, and then it also gives me another pocket item collector, and it makes my team tankier. So I'm like triple dipping. Isn't 4 parry fake? Oh yeah, I mean, the, the trade itself is not good. But, you know, like, it, it lines up. For, for the value of 8 gold, I am increasing my item collector by 1 proc, and I'm making my team a little bit tankier. Oh, okay, there's, there's a little bit more than 8 gold. Uh, I had to spend 8 gold, and I had to slam a suboptimal item. I could have either had Morello's, which is weird, um, because I already have red buff. Yeah, it's like, you can do Morello's, uh, Fairy Crown, or you could have just, like, slammed one good item. Oh, thank you, Cloudless. And Sleepy Potato, welcome. Thanks for the sub. Okay, I need to lose two more rounds and then level. I just tune in. Is this game going to be a first? Uh, it's looking pretty good. My board's not that strong right now, but it was very efficient at the time. It's just like a protect the Callista comp. It's pretty satisfying. I played a lot of this on PvE. But as you can see here, she's kind of fallen off. I think Callista with double Gwinters is not that good. Bishop says Nora is this. Ooh, don't want to take this dragon. I don't think this dragon's worth it. I think uh, I need that 12 gold. Uh, yeah, it'll spike me for one round, but I've got HP. I think I need to go 9 instead. Uh, okay, so you go 9, you drop Karma, you play Melio for 4 Fairy and Scholar, you play Xerath for Arcana and backline damage, and then people in chat are saying Nora is really good, so I'm down. I've never tried it myself, but if you guys say it's good, I'm down. And then I'll probably have like, I'll probably Morello's Morgana or something. 
Uh, maybe if I can hit a Camille, I can do something cool. Yeah, I'll be on perfect tempo to level up if I lose this round. But yeah, I would guess that this game's gonna be a second. I think I can bleed out slowly and then lose to one high roller. Uh, if I hit everything two star, maybe I'll be the high roller. Um, two portal spets. Um, okay, we're probably gonna be itemizing like a Xerath or Nora. So get the Guard Breaker or Rabadons. None of these made that much sense. Titans, I guess. Are we best friends now? Flies like a Fred like Alright, I lost that guy level 6. Bruh. Are we best friends now? Uh, I realize now that Camille is better than Nakali, but she already has the item on her. Fuck. I, I already get- she already has the trench coat. Okay, I might be trolling going for this close to three, but I feel like at seven, it's actually realistic. I'm also uncontested. Uh, but I might be throwing rounds. Oh wow, Rakan got a declaw. Okay, so what makes me stronger here? Uh, two star Diana goes in over Morgana if I hit it. Uh, Callista three is close to three. Camille is better here. And then you definitely item remove. Yeah, definitely item remove Hecarim. Give Edge a Knight and then. Morello's. It might just go on Rakan. I'm not even kidding. Like, he does do AoE damage and he needs stats. No one's holding Callista. Alright, just focus on hitting on my two stars. If I have to sell, I'll sell. No, I don't have money for that. You want to sell your board after? No, my, my board has a good chance of winning. If I don't sell, I'm guaranteed at least second. If, if I'm like top two and there's no way I can place any better, then I'll start selling my board. Oh, what's my Zillion doing over there? Okay, I'm putting Callista up because I'm expecting a, um, the walk. I'm expecting her to have to walk, and I don't want her to walk. I've lost because of walk diff before. If if the fight's close, the and you believe you're going to kill their frontline first, you want to put your Callista closer. Oh fuck! Did I just troll? Oh, I trolled. Wait. wait. Oh my god! The Bard clutch while stunned. Okay, that was my bad. I messed up my positioning, but I got bailed out anyway. Wait, if you win, gain a copy of your high... Oh, I mean, if I win, the game's over, so that doesn't actually do anything.
12% tree damage. Oh no. No, 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 wait, hang on. Wait. Wait. No, where is she? No, 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 no! Sorry, guys. She didn't want to come home. Sag, I was here, Sag. Oh, hey, I got Challenger back. Can you explain how to position your melee carries? Uh, position them, the, the low level is like, you position them to not die, but also hit the same targets. Usually you'll have a range carry and a backline carry. Like, uh, there's like two ways to play the game. You can either play like a full backline where, and full tank, where it's like, you, Vagar is your backline, Nami is your backline, Vex is your frontline, Mordekaiser is your frontline, stuff like that. And then it's really easy because your tanks can be in any formation. And then all you do is position Nami and Vagar to hit the same target, or uh, position Vagar to kill, position Nami to CC, right? It's like very easy.